Hi, my name is Rush from Cloud9 and this is my basic champion guide to Udyr. In solo queue, your early jungle path is pretty important. Sometimes you have to set up your path before game start. Also, you guys should know that the easiest and fastest way to be level 4 is do 5 camps including 2 buffs and finishing skirt crap. You can be level 4 at around 310 and which is really fast and you can get Crafts gold and crafts vision, so you can sometimes find out enemies jungler and it gives you guys really huge advantage and you can still gank after being level 4. So this path is also useful when you wanna do farm. Even though Udyr is really good 1v1 fighter, it's better for you to just match what other junglers do because you are more strong. So if you have 2v2 situation on top or bot or top or mid, you must win the fight. I think you should just farm and see chance of making counterplay which more efficient. Also, Udyr is pretty bad at dragon, I mean solo dragon because you must have some mana issues. As Udyr, if you need, if you get some health, really easy to get Herald because you have some attack speed and some DPS. So, and it also gives you mo more movement speed and it can give you some power spike. So I think it's better to focus on Herald. On teamfight, Udyr is definitely not engager. So it is better for you to kill and you're pretty bad at killing enemies carries by yourself. Even though you win 1v1, they can still run away, flash over the wall, and you can't chase them. So it is better for you to stun enemies Bruiser and try to deal him and kill him first and try to chase enemies uh, chase enemies out. That's the strong point Ooh, you're, you're really tanky, you can do damage, you have CC. So it is better for you to kill front line first. Sometimes you can do split push as Udyr because you can really easily run away and you have really fast as clear times. That's why some people use this route as Udyr. It's sometimes it's viable in solo queue. Actually, it works out really well. Just try to make portal on Balin and keep pushing and try to group up faster than enemies' enemies because enemy has to clear bad wave if you made portal on there. So if you want to do that, keep focusing on your map and try to be there first even though you're split pushing. On Udyr, I use attack speed on red and scaling armor on yellow, 6 plus CDRs and 3 scaling CDR to match 10% on attack speed runes and movement speed on quench. Udyr has really high base movement speed and 3% movement speed from runes gives you a lot of Movement speed than other champions, and as you as long as you don't have any dash type skill, you need more movement speed. So it is kind of necessary. I use 12 0, 18 on Udyr, and as you guys know, as jungler, strength of Aegis is way stronger than Thunderlord. So taking strength of Aegis build is really common now. Some people use cunning, put 12 points on cunning, but I think it's really bad because if you compare Fury and Savagery, Fury is way better than Savagery because you can. Do more attack speed gives you more jungle clear speed than savagery <clears throat> and double edged sword gives you more clear speed than other like Phoenix Affinity or something like that. And same as natural talent and oppressor because all of the masteries on Ferocity works on jungle camp and champion both. But if you look at cunning, it's not that useful unless you are ahead. So in short, if you wanna do fast clear, uh, you should level R W R and level E at level 4, but if you wanna do cheese gang, you can level E anytime you want. And max R and W and E. It is natural to take strength of ages as jungler in this meta. So it is better to get more damage item instead of just building tank. You should try to focus to build Runix Echo first, but you don't have to finish that item. Because Udyr gets swiftness really early, you can be really fast and you can gank a lot. And you have really fast movement speed and you can catch enemies junglers or you can gank really easy with your blue smite. So I recommend you to start with Talisman because you need some mana regen and build Stalkos, Stalkos Blade because it can make you chase enemy more easier and build Boots of Swiftness because it can make you move really fast and gank a lot. Sometimes it helps you clear fast because movement speed also make your clear time shorter and you should finish Runic's Echo. And next, if you wanna do split and wanna take some lane experience and split push. You can build Scissorot, but in usually if you want to do team fight, it's better to build Iceborne or Frozen Heart. After finishing one item, one of Scissorot or Iceborne Gauntlet or Frozen Heart, you need some MR item and Hearth item to be efficient to build. So I recommend you to build 
Furious Results if it's possible because you can get 40% CDR from 10% from runes and 20% from Frozen Heart or 10% from Furious Results so you can get 40% CDR and you can get more health you can get MR and armor both it's really efficient Thanks for watching this basic champion guide, make sure to check out the rest of the guides over at lurkless.com.